Can you imagine Earth powered by volcanoes? Is it possible to harness volcanic energy and use it to replace non-renewable resources? Let's find out. Welcome back everyone. Hope you all enjoyed our previous videos. Today your infographic captain will explore the idea of harnessing volcanic power. According to the reports, our planet's fossil fuels will run out well before the end of this century. Oil reserves will run out by 2052, followed by natural gas before 2060, and then coal by 2090. In other words, no one will be able to fly home for Christmas or drive their Ferraris. So, how are we going to deal with that? It's not as if we can abandon the Earth before the fossil fuels run out, because Elon Musk appears to be more focused on running Twitter right now than colonizing Mars, which he claimed will do by 2025. Thankfully, other scientists may have come up with a plan. Volcanic power. Did you know that due to the Big Bang, the center of our Earth is like a nuclear reactor that generates heat from radioactive elements like uranium, thorium, and potassium? For decades, we've been capturing heat energy, known as geothermal energy. What exactly is geothermal energy? Geothermal energy produces electricity by using the heat that is trapped beneath the surface of the Earth. It functions by drawing water from the hot, high-pressure depths of the Earth. After driving electric turbines with the hot vapors, cool water is injected back into the Earth. Iceland is a pioneer in the use of geothermal energy for space heating. 25% of the nation's total electricity is currently produced by geothermal power plants. Approximately 90% of Icelanders live in geothermal heated homes. Don't dig a hole in your backyard unless you're familiar with the procedure of geothermal energy extraction. Volcanoes can be useful in a variety of ways, despite the fact that their eruptions can be quite dangerous. To simplify matters, let's consider the Yellowstone volcano, which is well known among the others. In order to prevent a future super eruption, NASA scientists in 2017 proposed drilling a number of wells around the park's perimeter and pumping cold water into the hot rock. By doing so, the magma chamber would cool and disaster would be avoided. The same solution can be used to harness volcanic thermal energy. 5 gigawatts of electricity may be extracted using this technique, making it one of the biggest power plants in the world. It is believed that the Yellowstone contains enough energy to supply the entire country. When molten rock and water collide, the high heat and pressure cause water to become supercritical, where it's neither liquid nor gas. In this state, water can carry more energy than typical geothermal steam, potentially producing up to 10 times the power output of traditional geothermal sources. There's no doubt that geothermal power is an excellent alternative to oil and gas. It can work in the summer or winter and are not dependent on changing factors, such as the presence of wind or sun. Geothermal power plants produce electricity or heat 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Volcanic geothermal energy holds enormous clean energy potential, but it does carry drawbacks, and new power plants can face pushback from communities concerned about preserving the environment. Fun fact, any guess which is the biggest active volcano on Earth? The honor goes to Mauna Loa, located in Hawaii. So, is volcanic power the way to go? Or do you think there's an even better solution? Let us know in the comments. Hopefully this video gave you at least enough energy to click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.